Hello beautiful people, welcome back. So today's video, I want to talk about some colleges in Canada and their first tuition deposit. Like there are some colleges in Canada, of course, we all know that when you are applying for a university or let me say a college program in Canada or applying to any college, they are going to ask you a tuition deposit before your final offer letter is given to you, like your acceptance letter is given to you. So every college across uh, the provinces of Canada, they ask different amounts of money. So this video is basically going to be about the colleges and how much you are going to pay as first deposit before you can get your final official letter or your final acceptance letter. Remember, when a college says you have to pay a deposit before you can get your official letter, if you do not pay this money to the college after you have been given the conditional offer, they will not give you the document that you have to use to apply for the visa. So you have to put this into consideration. Now, without wasting more time, let's go to the video. But first, please like this video so that others can watch the video, all right? Thank you, because if you like it, YouTube is going to recommend. That is the reason why others will watch. The first college is called Holland College. Holland College is spelled H-O-L-L-A-N-D. And this college, if you apply to this college, the first letter that comes to you is the conditional offer. And the next letter that follows, you have to pay a thousand dollars, a thousand Canadian dollars. That is, if you don't pay, they are not going to give you the final official letter. Of course, they are going to tell you the date limit you need to pay this money before you get the final letter. The next college is called Sheridan College. Sheridan is H-S-H-E-R-I-D-A-N-D. And Sheridan College is going to ask you $250 after you have been given your unconditional letter. They are going to give you a date limit to pay this money. Okay, now... The next college is called Niagara College, and this particular college is located in the province of Ontario. With Niagara College, they still have applications or programs which are open for January 2024. So if you want to apply, please, no September application. Do not apply. But first, when you even go to the program's website, you are going to find all the programs that are still open for September. And you are going to find those that are open for January and May next year. So Niagara College is going to ask you not less than, not more than, let me say not more than $600. Next college I want to talk about is Humber College. And Humber College is equally located in Ontario. And if you are looking for programs that are related to business, security, and orders, you should check Humber College. They equally have programs that are still available for January intake. And they are going to ask you 9,000 Canadian dollars. As a matter of fact, Humber College asks almost half the tuition okay so if you are applying to this college you should understand that they are going to ask you nine thousand canadian dollars in order to get your final acceptance letter before you can apply for your study permit to canada then i want to talk about seneca college seneca college is going to ask you seven thousand canadian dollars and seneca college is located in ontario but one thing you need to know about Seneca College is that they are going to give you a refund in case your visa is rejected. Another thing I want you to understand with Humber College is that I do not know if they are going to give you a refund, but check the website. Then the general info I will advise you now on is that before you apply to any college, check the tuition deposit. Is it 500? Is it 200? Is it 1000? Is it 1525? Or have the tuition. In case the money is very big, ask them if there is a policy for refund. Or if there is no policy for refund, do not apply for any college that you are going to pay more than 500 Canadian dollars. There are a lot of colleges in Canada, you can pay 500 Canadian dollars, but they will not refund this money. It is non-refundable. So you always need to check to see which college you are applying to. The next college I want to talk about is Georgian College. And Georgian College is going to ask you 2,500 Canadian dollars as soon as you get a position or as soon as you get admissions in order to get the final official letter to apply for your study visa. Then the next college I'm going to talk about is Doham College. Doham College is equally one of the colleges in Ontario. And this college you are going to be charged based on semesters. Each semester, you have a particular tuition you are going to be paying. And if you are looking at the tuition fee, you are going to be charged around 16000 to 19000 Canadian dollars per year. But you pay 
per year per semester like a semester is four months and another one four months you are going to divide the 18 or 19 thousand canadian dollars or 16 thousand into two and you pay before you study so doham college is equally associated to ontario tech university they have a partnership together okay then the next college i want to talk about is conestoga college and Conestoga College is located also, I do not know, is it in Vancouver? But the tuition deposit they are going to ask you is a thousand five hundred Canadian dollars. Then we have Centennial College. Centennial College is located in Ontario, and Centennial College would ask you two thousand seven hundred Canadian dollars in order to get your final acceptance offer letter. Remember, most of these colleges, like I said, they have a refund policy, especially when the money is huge. But those that you would just pay 500 canadian dollars i do not think they have a refund policy but again check their websites properly and ask city or the college let's go now to venia college venia college is going to ask you 500 canadian dollars and again nova scotia community college is a college located in the province of nova scotia this college is actually one of the cheapest colleges in canada with tuition fee of about eleven thousand canadian dollars per year uh, which means that approximately five five thousand four hundred something like that and they have a lot of programs and if you are looking for business related programs in the province of nova scotia then apply to nova scotia community college i think they have an application fee as well doham college has an application fee as well niagara college has an application fee as well and uh, humba college has an application fee most of these schools they will ask you a hundred canadian dollars so it is now your duty to always check to see how much they are asking from you there are some colleges like uh, quatland polytechnic or is it polyclinic they equally ask for an application fee but not a hundred canadian dollars a hundred and fifty so please put all of this into consideration before you apply to most of these schools then we have our famous mbcc which is located in new brunswick new brunswick community college they are going to ask you just a um, hundred Canadian dollars for application fee but remember they are giving you two programs you are applying for two programs for the hundred Canadian dollars and also Doham College you are applying for two programs for a hundred Canadian dollars but if you are given admissions for one the other one automatically is put into the dustbin so this is what you should know for New Brunswick Community College you need just a uh, a deposit of 500 Canadian dollars to pay using your online application and after that you apply for the visa i have a friend who is going to this school already to begin in september so this is something you should understand and there are a whole lot of other colleges you have vancouver community college which is going to tax you five thousand canadian dollars so in essence if you are applying for schools in canada please put application uh let me say first tuition deposit into consideration put requirements into consideration because without these two you may not have proper orientation of what you are going to do it is very very important there are other colleges like circuit college maybe loyalties college and a whole lot of other colleges like aurora college this college is found in Nowden, canada all right very cool and this college is actually free application with a tuition fee of about four thousand canadian dollars but it has an application that is going to start november is it october or november i'm going to bring the full details here so that you can follow and watch we equally have quatlen polytechnic university and they are going to ask you a deposit of one thousand five hundred dollars and this particular college with uh, just your high school documents you are good to go and of course they have a lot of programs remember application fee is 100 150 canadian dollars to apply for this polyclinic and it's also a very nice college i hope this video is going to help you thank you so much please if you are new to the page give this video a like and if you can share the video for us do share for us so that it can expose others or give us visibility so that others can also benefit from the video thank you so much so today i want to talk about if i get a visitor's visa and i move to canada how can i convert a visitor's visa to a working permit in canada look a lot of people are not explaining the right things to us internationals yes according to the government of canada or according to ircc you can change a visitor's visa to a working permit but are some people telling you the truth on how to go about it first 
before you apply for a visitor's visa you should check the duration in your home country and secondly understand that there is a procedure you need to follow in case you get the visitor visa and you migrate to canada let me break it down to you if you get a visitor's visa to migrate to canada then when you reach canada for you to convert that visitor's visa to a working permit there are rules you need to follow one you need to look for a job and when you look for this job your employer needs to be the one to do what we call lmia for you and lmia is called what labor market impact assessment when your employer applies for this document your employer need to apply for this company for this uh, document to from the government then it's going to take the government some time maybe one month two months three months it depends they might deny it and they can give it to you so it's not a guarantee but remember they have to look at your documents first now when the document is ready your employer will give you that document and you will now go to the competent officials to convert back your visitor's visa to a working permit before you can come back and work with that employer but the problem here is most employers as soon as they hear that you are on a visitor's visa they will not contact you again this is point number one you need to know another thing you need to understand is that most employers if they want to give you this job first they need to contact the uh, canadian government they need to prove to the canadian government that one they actually advertised this job for at least 28 days and there was nobody to collect the job as maybe a permanent resident in canada or a citizen there was nobody to take the job that is why they are giving you the job as a visitor that is the first thing and they need to prove this if they don't prove this the canadian government is not going to listen to them so this is one of the things that a lot of people don't tell you they will just tell you that no you can move to canada on a visitor's visa and you get a job like i have always said the easiest visa to move abroad especially to canada is the study visa other countries the same all right now you are going to be watching more videos on my youtube channel so i will encourage you to subscribe to this channel on youtube check this channel on youtube and subscribe to it because it's going to help you a lot if you have video suggestions let me know in the comment section so that i can make more videos for you of course the detailed videos will always be on my youtube channel anything you need about immigration to canada immigration abroad study abroad opportunities then contact my youtube channel for more longer videos till we meet again in another one i remain your favorite host